Now, blast from the past for you now as Glenda sat down with reformed band Sway to find out how different life is back on the road. Remember these boys? Well, they're back together after seven years, this time without lead guitarist Bernard Butler. But life back on the road seems good for the newly reformed band, as I caught up with them to find out how they got on playing three nights in Dublin. Yeah, good, I think. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, a lot of fun. Nice. Yeah. What are the Irish audience like? Um, they were quite restrained last night, actually. They've got a reputation for being kind of fairly uh, over the top. It's kind of weird doing these, doing the three albums because I think people come along to actually listen. I mean, loud we're used to, but actually in tune was, was quite impressive. Suede played three nights at the Olympia and instead of singing their greatest hits, each night they sang the playlist of their first three albums. Yeah, no, it's quite, it's quite a sort of weird thing to do, but it's quite a good challenge for us, really. It's been a lot of fun, it really has. What about new material? Will you be back in the studio, guys? Are you going to write some new material? See how this goes down first? Yeah, we're going to try. I mean, basically, that's the idea. We wanted to make sure that we finish on a high after finishing on a low last time. So it'll only come out if, it's, if we think it's pretty spectacular. And going back to last time, because you guys obviously are back now after seven years, tell me how different is it now on the road to back then? What do you think, Simon? <laughs> um, it's a nice hotel, actually. Yeah. I've, got, I've got to be honest. Yeah, these boys may have been responsible for starting the Britpop scene, but back in the day, they lived like rock stars. It's a lot less late nights, actually. We don't sort of party as much as we used to. There's only so many years you can sort of stay up to 6 o'clock and then... You know, do a show the next day. It's, it's, you know, it takes its toll, as you can tell. <laughs> no, you're on your good side, you're okay. <laughs> it, it's just about making the gigs really good. You know, when we first toured and we kind of lived on the road, we'd do kind of like two great gigs and then one awful gig because, you know, we kind of disappeared off and, you know, everyone was hungover or kind of late. Or, I don't think any of us want to do that anymore. And Brett, can I ask you, because I've read quotes that you regretted the breakup, but you didn't, or it was the time then. Like, tell us, what way do you feel? Oh, no, I don't regret the breakup at all. I think it was the right thing to do at the time. Every time we go on stage, it feels very, very exciting now. And, and you know, there was a while back there when it didn't, and I think it's absolutely the right thing to do, so no, I don't regret that. Did I read right, or was Ricky Gervais your manager once upon a time? He was actually our manager's assistant. I'm going to use the word manager. <laughs> no, he, he looked after us. He was... Manager's assistant? He was, yeah. He was... He kind of worked for someone who managed us. He's a, he was very different from the way he is now. So he wasn't the funny man that he is now? Oh, he was? Okay. He wasn't trying to be funny. Yeah. That was a difference. It's funnier. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. You know, you, all those scenes where he's kind of doing the rock star bit and, you know, the tragic things in the office when he's playing the guitar and stuff like that, that was sort of what he used to actually be like. He came to one of the gigs and I was talking to him about those songs he sings in, in the office, that kind of, like hard love on the hard rock freeway and stuff. And I was saying, those are just songs from your past, aren't they? And he's like, no, they're supposed to be funny. And I was convinced it was from his old band because that that's what they sounded like. You know what yeah. I mean? It's kind of like tragic Americana. I don't know about you, but I think bring back Ricky Gervais.